So uh, here it has been told that three bags are there. Three bags. So bag one, bag two, and bag three. And bag one contains one white ball and two black balls and three red balls. Bag two contains two white balls and one black ball and one red ball. Bag three contains four white balls, three black balls and two red balls. Then a bag is chosen at random at, and two balls are drawn from it. Two balls are drawn. Two balls are drawn from it. Then uh, they happen to be white. <laughs> white and red. Um, what is the probability that they come from the back three? So two balls are drawn that happen to be white and red. So one white and one red ball we have to draw. So let us define some events here. Let us define some events. So here, let's say the event E1 represents the event that the bag 1 is chosen. The bag 1 is chosen. And the event E2 represents that the bag 2 is chosen. And bag and E3 represents the event that uh, the bag 3 is chosen. The bag 3 is chosen. Then um, then the event A represents that um, the event A represents that one white ball, one white ball and one red ball is chosen. So then um, here, uh, P of E1 means the, the probability of choosing the bag one, that will be one by three. And also P of E2, the probability of choosing the bag two, that is also one by three. And P of E3, that is the probability of choosing the bag three, that is also one by three. Since why, each of these bags are equally likely to be cho chosen. Okay. So then um, here the probability of A given E1 means the probability of choosing one white ball and one red ball from the bag 1. So that would be here there are one white ball. So this will be one C1 and two, one red ball. I have to choose from three red ball so that is by three c1 ways and from all these six balls i can choose any two balls by six c2 ways so this would be three by six by two into five by one so this would be two three just six and three and three will cancel so this would be equal to one by five and p of a given e2 so that is the probability of choosing one white ball and one red ball from the bag two. So that will be um, in bag two, there are two white balls. So by two C1 ways I can choose and one red ball. So by one C1 ways I can choose. And there are four balls. So that is four C2 ways I can choose any two balls. So this will be two into one divided by four by two into three by one. So two twos are four, two and two will cancel. So that would be one by three. And similarly, the probability of A given E3, so that will be equal to, means the probability of choosing one white ball and one red ball from the bag three. So in bag three, there are four white balls. So by four C1 ways, I can choose one white ball. And by two C1 ways, I can choose one red ball. And there are seven plus two, so nine balls. So by 9C2 ways, I can choose any two balls. So this would be 4 into 2 by 9 by 2 into 8 by 1. So 4 twos are 8. So this would be 2 by 9. So 
now here it is asked to find the probability that the white ball and the red ball come from the bag 3 means p of e3 given a so that we have to find so that will be equal to p of e3 times p of a given e3 so here we are applying the bayes theorem here we are applying the bayes theorem so then divide by p of e1 times p of a given e1 plus p of e2 times p of a given e2 plus p of e3 times p of a given e3. So therefore, the probability of e3 given a, so that would be p of e3, that is 1 by 3, into p of a given e3, that is 2 by 9, divided by p of e1, that is also 1 by 3, times this is p of a given e1, 1 by 5, then time, sorry, plus this is p of e2, p of e2 is also 1 by 3, into this is p of a given e2 is 1 by 3, plus p of e3, that is p of e3, that is hmm, p of e3 that is 1 by 3 into p of a given e3 that is 2 by 9. So this from here 1 by 3 I can take it as common so this will be 2 by 9 and here also 1 by 3 into this is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 9. So 1 by 3 I can cancel out so this will be equal to uh, 2 by 9 divided by so the LCM of this will be uh, 45 45 so 5 9s are 45 3 15 3s are 45 then 9 5s are 45 5 2s are 10 so this will be 2 by 9 into 45 divided by this is uh, 25 plus 9 so that is 34 so this will be 9 5s are 45 2 17s are 34. So the answer is 5 by 17. So this is the final answer. Thank you.